If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know, I want to ask you too. You know, um, you know, we kind of touched on it a little earlier. You know, um, and unfortunately, it wouldn't be a boxing space if we didn't mention it, right? So the Ryan Garcia and uh, nonsense has been going around. You know, you kind of, you kind of let us know your feelings about it a little bit. But I want you to uh, uh, dive into a little more, man. Or do you think that this situation is really as controversial as people are making it, like with the conspiracy theories and people conspiring against them, or do you think it's just an example of emotions superseding common sense? You know, with the with the with the boxing public. He's conspiring against himself, man. Exactly. He, he's, he, he's causing. He's causing all this. Right. You know. He, he, I, I don't. I don't. I hate getting involved in people's private lives, and I won't. But I will put. I will say what he did on social media. Where, remember when his baby boy, I believe, was born, and he said, "You know, thank God, I've got a boy. I, I love him so much." And then, like an hour later, he's saying, "I'm no. I'm. I'm divorcing my wife. Yep. But yep. please give me privacy." Yep. Why put that on there? Right. Like an hour after your child was hard on about that as well. I remember. So that. He, he's causing all of this, and I agree. I'm no. That's I'm not a doctor. All I know is is what I see, and something right. seems to be off with him because he's still doing it now. Right. Like as we sp every single day, he's arguing with someone or he's saying outlandish things. Right. Um. You know, he's got Caleb Plant ready to rip his head off. I, I, love, uh, I love Caleb Plant, but, man. Caleb Plant stand on business. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't mess with Caleb Plant, you yes, know, and you, you shouldn't say. It, it's like just his, his level of respect for other people. It's not there. I agree. It just isn't there for a man who 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 um, talks about his faith all the time. Right. His respect for other people is just lacking, man. You're right. And, and, you know, and um, I was one of the people that I got a lot of flack for this, too. I was like, man, you know, I don't his erratic behavior, you know, me having a direct experience with uh, people in my family and I had a college roommate who was going through a mental episode. You know, he was Baker acted and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, you could kind of kind of have a little sense or maybe I'm just sensitive to when people are kind of losing it. However, it goes back to what you said. I could only believe a man to express himself effectively and he said that he was playing us so it's like mental health is a serious issue and when you you know it's not something to play with and use conveniently right. to get you in and out of trouble you know it's not like a you know like a crutch to use and when you're disrespecting other people and that you know there has to be boundaries set but i do want to ask you you know have you ever being a boxing historian again i'm gonna emphasize that you know have you ever seen or do you remember a time when somebody who was cheated in any sport, not just boxes, even if you talk about cycling with Lance Armstrong, have you ever seen a, a, a person that was an opponent of a cheater, basically the victim of, 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 of a person cheating, have you ever seen him get treated with so much disdain as, as Devin Haney? Like, why do you think it is? Do you think it's because people just dislike Devin Haney that much? Do you think it's Bill Haney? Do you think people are just love Ryan Garcia, you know, ir ir irrationally? Like, what do you think it is? Because I can't put a finger I, I, on it. I really... I don't know. It's just like the nature of people now. Yeah. You know, to pick sides and, and then it's like people take glee in attacking someone when they're down. Right. They they attack them when they're doing well. I, right. I don't I don't really understand it. Um for Devin to get so much backlash. Right. Uh, he like it or not, he fought a guy who cheated. Now right. he can blame it on Scooter or whoever he wants to blame it on, <laughs> so Ryan. It could be somebody else. But he fought a guy who cheated. But it's hard to he still did take those punches. He still and he, he got up and he got up every time. You know, we, whether you like him or not, he 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 demonstrated what you want to see out of a fighter and a warrior. He he didn't Here's, quit. I I was very biased going in. I wanted Devin to win. I was just tired of all the Ryan stuff. And I and I love I love Derek James. I know Derek and and he's a he's a good man along with being a great trainer. Mm -hmm. So, but I was rooting. I was completely rooting for Devin. So I'm scoring a fight. Now, maybe my scorecard is wrong, but even with the knockdowns, I thought it was a one-point fight for Garcia. And again, I say, I'm say i not saying I'm a judge, right, right, and I right. was biased, so if there were close rounds, but there were a lot of close rounds, the rounds that Garcia wasn't scoring knockdowns. Right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, look, Haney kept getting back up. He kept facts. getting back up, but the, the nature of people now, it's like they, they, they kick you when you're down, they kick you when you're up. <laughs> that's the people they get heard the most yes yes man yes absolutely i tell people that all the time i said man it's not that the ridiculous ignorant people are the majority it's just that 
they're just the loudest you know they they're the most yes. outspoken but there's a lot of good people out there man and, and and to piggyback of what you're saying you know um i do i did think it was a closer fight than they expected but i don't remember my round count now but i did have um Devin haney winning more rounds but i had ryan garcia winning by like because of the knockdowns, I had to win by like I think like three or four points. I can't remember, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a wash as everybody remembers it because we only remember the brutal parts, you know. That's what, right. But yeah, right. that imagery stays in our head. But it was a pretty close fight, yeah. man. Um, yeah, yeah, man. And but so, I'm sure um, I had it that close because I was like I admit my biases. I was rooting for Devin, not because I'm a huge Devin fan. I just I was tired of yeah. the whole Ryan Garcia stuff, and yeah. I I did think Devin was the better fighter going in. That's the beauty of boxing. You can you can have debates and think what you want yeah. and say what yeah. you want, but then the truth gets told when they fight. Yep. And that ring, although this one circle. didn't have a lot of truth because the guy cheated. So facts. And you know it was so funny because I was so excited. Uh, wait, real quick, Ty said they couldn't wait to justify their hate for Devin Haney and his father. That's, it's, it kind of seems a little evident, yeah, that you might be closer to the truth than we want would like to admit. You know, or a lot of us feel comfortable admitting. Um, but you know, I, I, I um, going into that fight, you know, I was. I was so excited because not only because I bet on Ryan, but I actually like Ryan more. But I'm always fair, you know. So once it came out that he cheated, I was like, no, it's a no contest. I knew it was going to be a no contest because there was other situations that didn't involve a PED, you know, like Keyshawn Davis when he beat Nahir Albright. You know, he, yep. it, he, it was in Texas. And in Texas, a banned substance is marijuana, not because it's an enhancing drug. We all know it has no enhancement like that. But in Texas, it, you can't use it. And he tested positive. So they turned that uh, victory into a no contest. So I was telling people right. this and people called me a hater or oh, I'm, I just love Devin Haney. I'm like, bro, I won money off Ryan Garcia winning. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm unbiased. And, and another funny thing is that, like, I was so excited. I, I personally thought that Ryan Garcia being Devin Haney was the biggest upset in boxing since Buster Douglas and Mike Tyson. You know, I was like, man, I can't think of a bigger upset wow. than that. And then he just, he tainted all of that. You know, that's why I was so mad at it because it's like, man, you just, you really hurt boxing with that. You know, not only did you do an injustice to yourself and cheated Devin, but you also cheated boxing. And, and boxing did Devin Haney an injustice as well, man. I think we need to implement some type of universal drug testing that they have to adhere to, in my opinion, just to avoid stuff like this but i'm sure people have been preaching yeah, that forever box so boxing has a lot of problems yeah you know and, and that's that's just that's just one of them but it, it's yeah. hard to to try and stay positive all the time because boxing just by its nature mm -hmm. man it, it brings out negativity sometimes but you, you can fight against it and I, I try to stay as positive as as much as i can because it's the fighters we 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 love boxing because of the fighters not right. because of the WBA, right. or, or for Don King or Bob Arum. We don't right. love them because of the promoters, because of HBO or Showtime. We love boxing because of the fighters. Right. And there's a lot of great fighters. There's a lot of really good men and women in the sport Absolutely. that that are that should be looked at as great people, and they do great things. Absolutely. Not everyone, right. but it's the fighters that we, we celebrate. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.